12 essential life hacks for handling emergency situations. When it comes to facing an emergency, you might instinctively turn to advice from friends or family. However, it's important to note that even some of the most common recommendations can be misleading and potentially harmful. Did you know that applying ice to a bruise isn't always the best idea? Or that lifting an unconscious person could lead to serious consequences? In this video, we'll explore 12 crucial life hacks to navigate emergency situations effectively. Number 12. Dealing with a foreign object in your eye. If you find something in your eye, like a piece of glass, the first step is not to attempt to remove it yourself. Instead, seek immediate medical attention. However, if it's just an eyelash, ensure you wash your hands, locate the eyelash using a mirror, and blink to allow your tears to wash it away. Then, gently remove it with a wet piece of cloth. Number 11. Applying ointment to a wound. Ointments can create a moist environment perfect for bacteria to thrive. To help wounds heal faster, clean them with cool water and soap and cover them with a dry bandage. Number 10. Using alcohol or vinegar on a fever. Rubbing alcohol or vinegar onto a feverish person can lead to intoxication or increased acidity, which is especially dangerous for children. Instead, offer non-alcoholic fluids, maintain a cool room temperature, and encourage rest. If the fever persists, consult a doctor. Number nine, handling an unconscious person. Contrary to popular belief, lifting an unconscious person isn't the best approach. Instead, raise their legs, loosen tight clothing, and avoid letting them stand up immediately upon regaining consciousness. Keep them away from caffeine, which can lead to dehydration. Number eight, treating burns with butter or sour cream. While these may temporarily alleviate pain, they can dry out the skin and trap heat, worsening the burn. To relieve pain, submerge the affected area in cool water for 15 minutes. Blisters that form serve as a protective barrier, so it's best not to remove them. Number seven, setting a dislocated joint. Attempting to do this on your own can result in additional injuries. The recommended course of action is to immobilize the injured limb and seek medical help immediately. Number six, applying warmth to a sprain. Using a warm cloth on a muscle sprain can worsen swelling by increasing blood flow. Instead, use cold treatment during the first 48 hours to reduce inflammation and pain. Number five, inducing vomiting in case of poisoning. Self-induced vomiting can lead to dangerous complications, such as chemical damage to the lungs and throat. Call for medical assistance promptly in case of poisoning. Number four, rescuing a drowning person. If you can swim, approach a drowning person from behind to prevent them from hindering your efforts. Lift them under the armpits or chin, keeping their head close to your body as you move to safety. Number three, removing objects from wounds. For serious wounds, it's best to leave objects in place to prevent bleeding. Seek professional medical assistance and avoid touching the object. You can clean the wound with alcohol, but be prepared for significant pain. Number two, applying ice to a bruise. Ice should never be applied directly to the skin as it can cause cold burns. Always use a cloth as a barrier and limit icing to 20 minute intervals with 90 minute breaks. Avoid icing after 48 hours. Number one, using stitches to close cuts. While stitches are often necessary, consider using skin glue for smaller wounds as it's quicker and less painful. Clean the wound with cold water, press the edges together, and apply skin glue. For larger wounds, seek professional help. Please like this video and share it with your friends. Share your first aid stories in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to stay informed on how to handle emergency situations effectively.